scallops over corn, peaches, and tomatoes. There's very little cooking involved in this dish, but it tastes so luxurious and fresh and flavorful. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. For this dish, you will need one ear of corn or about three quarter cup of fresh or frozen corn kernels, one to two peaches, some mixed cherry or grape tomatoes, a jalapeno, a lime, salt, pepper, olive oil, butter, fresh thyme, and 10 to 12 ounces of sea scallops. You'll see that one of those scallops is slightly pinker than the others. That is an indicator that that scallop was female. When the scallops are spawning, the roe releases a pigment which can change the color of the scallop from beige or white to pink or coral. Some people find that the pinkish scallops taste sweeter than the non-pinkish scallops. So the first thing we want to do is cook the corn. Well, you're not actually cooking the corn. You're just kind of knocking the raw off the corn. Um, I heat a cast iron skillet or grill pan until very hot and then add a little olive oil and just roll the corn around in the skillet till it takes on some color. While the corn is cooling, I remove the abductor muscle from the scallops. The part of the scallop that we eat is the ad Doctor, and that little crescent shaped muscle there on the side is the abductor. It can be kind of tough, so it's a good idea to remove it before cooking, but if you don't, it's really not a big deal. Once the corn is cool enough to handle, I use a sharp knife and cut it from the cob. You can save the cob to use in soups and chowders later. Just put it in a freezer safe bag and pop it in the freezer until you're ready to use it. Then once all I've cut all the corn off the cob, I add the peaches. Um, I just work over the bowl so any juices from the peaches fall into the bowl with the corn and just get mixed in with the dressing. So I slice the peaches and then I slice the tomatoes and add them. If the tomatoes are kind of are bigger for cherry tomatoes, I'll cut them into quarters, but usually I just cut them in half. And then after I add all the tomatoes, I will add the jalapeno. You can use as much or as little of jalapeno as you like. Depending on how hot it is, you may not want to use a whole lot. And then I give everything a good squeeze of lime juice and top it off with about half of the fresh thyme. Um, just hold the sprig of thyme in one hand and then use your fingertips to strip the leaves off the sprig with your other hand. And then give everything a good generous drizzle with olive oil. The amount of olive oil you use is really up to you and it also depending on how juicy your lime is. If you have a really juicy lime you want to use more olive oil. If your lime wasn't so juicy, you may not need as much olive oil. Just create a good balance for the dressing. Good everything a good stir, and then set that aside while you prepare the scallops. For the scallops, you want to pat them dry with a paper towel. Um, these are most likely wet packed scallops. We live in Arkansas, we're landlocked, so dry packed are not really an option for us. Um, so pat those dry with paper towel, and then season them on both sides with salt and pepper. For cooking, you want to heat your skillet until it's nice and hot and then add about a tablespoon of olive oil because olive oil has a higher smoke point than butter. We start with olive oil and add the butter later. So add the scallops to the skillet and then let them cook for about 90 seconds without disturbing them. Add the pat of butter and once it's melted, then turn the scallops one by one and let them cook for another minute or two or until they're cooked to your liking. It's better to slightly undercook them than to overcook them. Um, if you overcook, they'll be kind of tough and rubbery, but really that's all there is to it. Um, once they're cooked to your liking, divide the corn, tomato, and peach mixture between two bowls and then top that mixture with the scallops. Add the remaining thyme and another squeeze of lime juice and serve. Enjoy. For more cooking videos, visit us at arkansasonline.com slash cooking.